This is Jeff Rosenberg, writer, director of O.J. the Musical. Uh, and this is Jordan Kenneth Camp. He is the star of O.J. the Musical and also a co-producer. Uh, the film uh, is about a theater company staging an Othello-based O.J. Simpson musical. Jordan over here plays a character named Eugene, who uh, lives in New York City and then moves to Los Angeles to gather up his theater army to put on this uh, wacky musical idea he has. Uh, so we went to Ohio University together. Oh, you, oh, yeah. Oh, you, oh, yeah. And uh, I was in class studying Othello, and I just had this, like, sudden, oh, my God moment where I realized that the O.J. Simpson trial and Othello are borderline the same thing. So I got super excited. I ran out of class. I went to my dorm room. I've never written a musical before, and I wrote this musical number. Let's drive this f***ing Bronco right off the road. And uh, from there, I kept working, and... I started writing a musical, and then um, about five years ago or so in New York City, I was doing some screen tests with some of my friends, and uh, Jordan did an audition for the part of Eugene, and at that point I realized that the most interesting version of the movie was this character that he had come up with, and so the whole thing sort of shifted and more became about a guy putting up the musical. I think what was the turning point for us to, un, to really embrace the genre was to start watching documentaries as opposed to mockumentaries. Because mockumentaries are inherently an impersonation of a style anyway. We wanted to embrace the genre of documentary as best we could. Yeah, the idea is that Eugene sort of brought these people onto his side to uh, you know, help tell his story. And once his life sort of starts unraveling, then you know, he loses grasp on the story that he wanted to tell about himself. So to have it feel more organic and more like a documentary, everything's handheld, um, and generally speaking, the camera crew wouldn't know what we were doing. A good example is we have a scene where um, our boom operator winds up in the scene. Eugene's having to freak out and starts running down the street. The first take, she had no idea that was going to happen, and she's like struggling to get out of the shot. You can tell she's really uncomfortable. And so those are the kind of moments that we tried to keep in the movie. I would sing these like acapella tracks where I'm like, hey, so this song should kind of sound like Man of La mancha I I don't know. And then I'd be like, run, OJ, run, OJ, run, 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 OJ. And I would do that. And then I would send the tracks to New York to our friend James Sizemore, who would write these like 80 piece, like orchestral, like full realizations. And then I would send those to our friend Tom Myers, who would then record like eight part like harmonies and this whole thing. So that's been the mo probably the most unbelievable aspect for me is the first time I sat down and heard like the full like 5.1 surround sound mix of this harebrained musical idea I had like actually realized was pretty, pretty amazing.